Hi, this is me, Ran. I am coming to you with part one of two tutorials today on um, how to resize your picture for free online and how to change your picture that you grab from the internet, turning them from a document to a picture format so that it will upload to a site like this. So I'm going to go ahead with the first lesson. First lesson, go straight here to PickResize.com on your URL. It'll take you to this site. As of today, uh, February 24th, 2014, this is what it looks like once you get here. It's really simple. It tells you, number one, select picture. You can either go ahead and grab something from your desktop, grab that icon, and drag it into here, and it'll show up the name if you have named it. It'll show it right there, or you can go ahead and click browse. Now what I've done already here is I've gone to a different tab and I just googled picture of beach because it's always pretty you know it's always nice to go ahead and work with the picture of a beach and it showed up with all these results so all I'm gonna do is click on that and it takes me to all these pictures. Let's just take this first one notice that's a 1600 by 1200 there's no watermarks there's no copyright or anything like that so um, I'm going to go ahead and feel free to take this picture from the internet for use for whatever marketing or any personal use that I'm going to do. So the better, um, it's better for you to grab something larger because we are going to be condensing it. We're going to be cropping it or, you know, editing it so that it fits your banner or your profile picture of whatever site you're going to be using on and it's a lot better to have a high resolution bigger picture to work with so we're going to go back to here what I've already done is condense and save time because I've already downloaded it right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to browse it and here you see the difference like I said I'm going to talk in part two of this uh, tutorial about why this looks like the way it does the document because I grabbed it from the internet and then how I converted it to becoming a format to download onto this site so that's a picture so I'm going to go ahead and open it See, I've named it as Beach with Tree because it's something easy. I'm going to remember it. I'm going to go ahead and push continue. And it can it tells you you can resize, crap, or do special effects. I really do basic stuff on here. What I do is I take this. I can either crop it to just show everything but the tree, however area I want it to. Or you can deselect it if you haven't, you know, completed this process. But really what I use it for is right here, number two. It automatically goes to this 50% uh, smaller portion. It shows you its original width is 1600 and the height is 1200. So if you do a 50%, it's just going to take it by half. So 800 by 600. Maybe that's exactly the size that you need. I believe the banner for Facebook banners are like, I don't know, 1200 by 720 or something like that. So you actually need something at least this size to crop it down and make it condensed. Okay, so if you need an exact custom size, that's where you would put in. Let's say I do need it for 1200 by 720, like we just said. I'm going to go ahead, and I, I don't want to do any of this. Like I said, I keep it really simple. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say I'm done, resize my picture. So right here is where you can take it and save it. You can download it to your computer, save to disk. Right here, my computer is showing me that it's already downloaded. I go right here. It shows you that it's RSZ, which is short for resize. There you go. That's the picture. So I could take that exact picture. Now, let's say I were to go to a website and I needed that picture exactly that size, what I would do is I would go to that website and then when it says, you know, upload your picture, when I upload it, I'm going to go to my resized picture so that it takes that instead of my original one where I had to crop it or resize it. Okay? So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Um, if you need to watch it again, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and like it, share it. You know, I don't know anybody who doesn't do something with pictures online these days, whether you're sending it to your family or using it for your business. So this is probably a really helpful tool for you. So that's lesson one of two. And I'll go ahead and send the second part of that where if you need it, if you have actually had experience in downloading something and it comes up as a document, it won't accept it on this site as a document. It has to be a picture format. 
and I'll show you what I mean on the next tutorial. All right, have a great day.